Hello everyone, Nick DeSanctis here with your weekend preview. We'll start with the gymnastics team today as they open up their season this weekend out at Penn State. Head coach Doug Van Everett thinks this is a great opportunity for his team to get things rolling. Well, it's a good way to get the ball rolling, no doubt about it, you know, and to get in that environment that's very competitive and, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's super good for the new kids. Um, what I'm looking for, of course, is just to get a reasonably good hit percentage out of the guys and, um, and it gives them one more good opportunity to go through in a competition before the West Point Open. And so beyond that, you know, we have probably two or three guys on any one event that can compete with any of those kids. They got more depth for sure. But um, our number one and two guys are, are, are very good, and they can easily compete with them. So our goal is to win some events while we're there and, and, uh, and do a good job. The swimming and diving team, two home meets this weekend, 5 o'clock today, 12 o'clock tomorrow, both up at Crandall Pool, taking on Lehigh and Bucknell. Head coach Mickey Wender set this up with the championships in mind. You know, a championship meet in swimming is three-day prelims finals, um, and so you've got to learn how to manage your energy. You've got to learn how to recover from day to day and session to session. So it's very similar to what they'll do at a championship, you know, type event in terms of the warm down, which is critical, the nutrition, you know, and bringing their energy levels back up, getting a really good night's sleep. We'll come in on Saturday, we'll warm up in the morning and, um, and have a team meal and get ready to go. So it's good practice for a championship. The Army men's basketball team and women's basketball team are traveling. Tra the Army basketball teams, both men and women, traveling down to Annapolis to take on Navy this weekend. You can catch those games tomorrow live on CBS Sports. And Rich DeMarco will have the call of both games across the Army Sports Network. Army men's basketball head coach Zach Spiker says that he and his staff aren't doing anything different to prepare for such a big game. I think Navy is a very physical team. Um... It's a team that presents uh, uh, numerous threats, interior um, and perimeter, and we've got to be ready to, to play extremely hard and execute on both ends of the court. Uh, we're not doing anything different than we've done to prepare our team for the middle aspect of all our games and uh, make sure that our mindset is right and understand how hard we've got to play and an attitude and effort are a very, very big percentage of, of our team's success. On the women's side, Army women's head coach Dave McGarity knows that his team is going to have to slow down a very hot shooting squad. Well, we're, we're going to have to try to figure out how to stop their three-point onslaught. I mean, they are an incredible shooting team. Um, currently, their leading scorer is their point guard, and uh, they take turns. I mean, any given night, you know, somebody could go for anywhere from five to eight threes. So, um, you know, we're still trying to figure out the, the puzzle of losing the defensive player of the year. and. It's been a little bit of a challenge because uh, we just haven't been able to shut down uh, the other team's best player. I mean, time after time, I mean, we've been very fortunate um, that, that we've been able to stop, you know, a role player from hurting us. But that's, um, you know, Navy doesn't really have role players. Every one of their, their starters is capable of, of having a big night. So it's going to be a huge challenge. The Air Force Falcons are in town. They'll take on Army at Tate Rink in Atlantic hockey action coming up tonight and tomorrow night. Tonight's game you can see on CBS Sports. Brian Riley thinks that this is the best weekend of the year for his squad. Navy doesn't have a hockey team. This is the rivalry. I, I mean, for me, the, the, this is one of the best weekends of the year, whether it's home or away. This year it happens to be at home, but kind of takes on a season within itself this weekend. Uh, Anytime you have the opportunity to play against a service academy, um, it, it, it certainly has a special meaning to it. You know what? Um, I think this series comes down to one-on-one -on -one battles, you know, because it's such a physical uh, series. Uh, but, but really, I think you just hit on it. Special teams is key. Um, I think systematically, defensively, we've, we've been pretty good as of late. Um, it's a special teams part that... Uh, if you're going to have success, if you're going to win games, um, if you can win special teams battles, then you probably will win games. So we need to figure out a way to uh, be plus on the, on the special teams part of things. The track team competing in the Army five-way meet here at West Point this weekend, and the wrestling team is spending Sunday up in Boston with three matches. For the latest news and updates throughout the weekend, visit GoArmySports.com. That's your weekend preview. For Night Vision, I'm Nick DeSanctis. Go Army!